the previous session we have learned how you can think of establishing the entire setup of Plotly in your system. So while establishing the setup, we have learned that there are there are two sub modules or there are two packages inside Plotly often known as Plotly Express and graph objects inside Plotly. Again, typically, typically they are doing the same task. So imagine, imagine you have let's say let's say you need a bar chart. You need a bar chart. There is a function as as bar in my Plotly Express. If I'm not wrong, I think it is if, if there is a shortcut as px, I can say as px dot bar. Similarly, there is a function as go dot bar. It means whatever chart you need, either you can think of using Plotly Express or graph objects. But let's understand what are the difference between both. Again, if you really want to get a deep dive into this, you really have to have a good knowledge of what exactly JavaScript is all about. Because at the end of the day, Plotly uses JavaScript somewhere else. But if you want to think it bluntly, if you want to think it bluntly, Plotly Express is typically a inbuilt, is typically a inbuilt part of Plotly that creates entire figure at once, that creates entire figure at once, and of course it has less customization properties. On the other hand, on the other hand, this graph object is also an inbuilt, is also an inbuilt package of Plotly but it creates figure and it has some more customization properties imagine you have to update the layout you can say okay let's go with let's go with graph objects instead of going with the plotly express because if you have to do this task in plotly express probably you need to write a lot of lines of code of course in addition to that there are some fancy visualization we have an amazing visualization often known as candlestick again for those of you who don't know that's okay but let's understand that there are some visualization that do exist in Plotly Express, but do not exist in this. So candlestick is a visualization that exists in graph objects, but doesn't exist in Plotly Express, of course. So that's a high level overview difference between my Express and graph object. Again, for those of you who have any doubt, kindly utilize the Q&A of the course. Kindly utilize that. So that's all about it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Keep learning. Keep growing. Keep practicing.